Bayer Leverkusen decoded. This is far bigger than coding who will win a game. I believe I know why Bayer Leverkusen are taking the Bundesliga by storm. It's all about pestilence, famine and war. The club was founded in 1904 by employees of the German pharmaceutical company Bayer AG, whose headquarters are in Leverkusen and from which the club draws its name. Throughout World War I, Bayer was involved in production and development of various chemical weapons. In 1914, the year that World War I began, Bayer manufactured diancidine chlorosulfate for use in a 105 mm artillery shell, intended as a lung irritant against British forces. Notice how England player Declan Rice signed for Arsenal for 105 million. Arsenal connects to war, the Gunners. World War II and the Holocaust. IG Farben, Bayer's parent company, used slave labour in factories it built in Nazi concentration camps, most notably in the Monowitz concentration camp, known as Auschwitz III. Part of the Auschwitz camp complex in German-occupied Poland, by 1943, almost half of IG Farben's 330,000 strong workforce consisted of slave labour or conscripts, including 30,000 Auschwitz prisoners. Notice how one of the best strikers in the history of the Bundesliga is Robert Lewandowski, who's Polish. Helmut Wetter, an Auschwitz camp physician, SS captain and employee of the Bayer Group within IG Farben conducted medical experiments on inmates at Auschwitz and at the Mauthausen concentration camp. In one study of an anaesthetic, the company paid RM 170 per person for the use of 150 female inmates of Auschwitz. A Bayer employee wrote to Rudolf Huss, the Auschwitz commandment. The transport of 150 women arrived in good condition. However, we were unable to obtain conclusive results because they died during the experiments. This is why Leverkusen are doing so well, guys. I have no doubt in the near future we're going to see another pandemic. Bayer Leverkusen's nickname, Die Swartzlotten translates to the black and reds. Look how it says die. In the book of Revelation, famine rides a black horse and war rides a red horse. The beast of Revelation reigns for 42 months and Bayer's head coach is Xavi Alonso and he's currently 42 years old. And if Bayer Leverkusen win the league, He'll be 42 because he doesn't turn 43 until November the 25th, 2024. Diego Maradona, one of the greatest footballers of all time. He died November the 25th, 2020. He died on Xavi Alonso's 39th birthday. And World War II began in 39. Xavi Alonso was born with 36 days left in the year. The Beast of Revelation reigns for three years and six months. 666 is the 36 triangular number. This is not about Alonso being an incredible coach. It's about the code. It's undeniable. One of the most undeniable videos you'll ever watch is this. So... In Gematria, war equals 42. World war equals 42. 33 degree Freemason Albert Pike predicted that there would be three world wars and he died on 4-2. Now, check this out. Today, Leverkusen just beat Mans 2-1. Mans is Jurgen Klopp's old club who connects to Revelation. He was born on 616, the alternate number of the beast. England's Euro 2024 campaign will begin on Jurgen Klopp's birthday. So today, Bayer Leverkusen, they beat Mans 2-1.
and extended their unbeaten run in Germany to 33 games, which is a record. It's a record, guys. I barely know any of these players because it's not about the talent. It's about the code. So they won 2-1. See them in their black and red jerseys. Told you Famine rides a black horse and War rides a red horse. And they open the scoring after three minutes. Zaka, who was Arsenal's captain, the Gunners. So opening goal after three minutes in a game that had three goals where Leverkusen got another three points to now be 33 games unbeaten in Germany, which is a record. Now, Xavi Alonso was an incredible player and he won the 2005 Champions League final against AC Milan in what is known as the miracle in Istanbul. And Liverpool were losing this game 3-0 at halftime. And they came back and tied it up at 3-3. Okay? And in Gematria, Corona equals 30 and 33. But let's read this. Each club needed to progress through the group stage and knockout rounds to reach the final, playing 12 matches in total. Liverpool finished second in their group behind 2004 runners-up AS Monaco and subsequently beat Bayer Leverkusen, Juventus and Chelsea to progress to the final. All right? On Alonso's way to winning the 2005 Champions League final where he scored, which made it 3-3, Liverpool knocked out by a Leverkusen. You want to try and tell me that this isn't all coded? You really believe that Liverpool, okay, 3-0 down against AC Milan, were able to come back and tie it up and win on penalties? Let's look at AC Milan's team. Dida, Cafu, Yapstam, Nesta, Maldini, Perlo, Gattuso, Siadov, Kaka, Shevchenko, Crespo. Unbelievable. Look at the players on the bench. Rui Costa, Serginio, John Dal Thomason, Ancelotti, one of the greatest coaches of all time, their manager. And then look at Liverpool's squad. Dudek, Finnan, Carragher, who could barely run. Hippier, Jimmy Traore, Alonso, Garcia, Gerard, John Anarisa, Kuhl and Barros. They had Scott Carson on the bench. It's all coded. This video has to prove that to you at this point. All right? And then Alonso's Liverpool scored three penalties to win the shootout. Because Serginio, Perlo and Shevchenko all missed for AC Milan. Now, all these 33s, Adolf Hitler became the Chancellor of Germany in 33. Bayer in this game, like I said, they picked up three points in a game with three goals. And the opening goal was after three minutes, scored by Zaka, who played for Arsenal. Leverkusen's next league game is on 3-3. 33, guys, against Kong. And their logo literally looks like the Baphomet, guys. You can see their colours as well. The black and the red. You've also got the white, which connects to the Antichrist. The first horseman. Now, Bayer's winning goal here was scored after 68 minutes. All world wars began on 68 date numerology pure. Adolf Hitler died a span of exactly 68 months after World War II began. Bayer beat Manns 2-1. In Gematria, war equals 21. Adolf Hitler died exactly 21 years before the Church of Satan was founded. World War Three is incoming, as is another pandemic. Okay? If Leverkusen beat Kong in the league, they're going to have 20 wins and four draws. And Hitler was born on 24, the 20th of April. Leverkusen now have 11-point lead over Bayern, who have won 11 straight titles. And remember, to get that 11th title... They got the winning goal after 89 minutes in the last game. 89 is the 11th Fibonacci number. And the winning goal was scored by number 42, Musiala. 
All right, so it looks like Bayer are going to end Bayern Munich's 11 straight years of winning the league. 11 is a master number, just like 33. Just like 33, guys. It's incredible. It really is. It's absolutely mind-blowing. Now, who opened the scoring, guys, in this Champions League final? All right, who was it? It was no other than Paolo Maldini. First minute of the match, Maldini scored. All right, what jersey number was Maldini? Number three. This needs to be watched by hundreds of thousands of people. So please share it, okay? Support my work. There's next to nobody in the world that can make these connections daily. I do this stuff daily on my website and I share it with you all on YouTube. So please share it. Hit the like button, share it, support this work. Leverkusen are doing great because of the code, not because of their coach or their players or because Bayern suddenly can't play as well as they used to, despite signing Harry Kane, who we're told is arguably the best striker in the world. Crazy. Harry Kane, who was born on the 79-year anniversary of World War I beginning, 79 is the 22nd prime. It's why Harry Kane captained England at the 2022 FIFA World Cup, which was the 22nd edition of the World Cup. It's why Harry Kane was born exactly 22 weeks after Bobby Moore died. Bobby Moore was the captain for England when they beat Germany 4-2 in the 1966 World Cup final. Take care, much love. This is mind-blowing. God wins.